Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video we're going to cover pages. Pages allow you to implement a simple pagination with just back and forward buttons. To do this it's really simple, you just need to do a nav. The nav has no class at all. Inside you need to do an unordered list. This has a class of pager. Inside this, we need two list items. One list item is for the previous button, which will be on the left, and the other list item is for the forward button, which will be on the right. So, close this off. The list item doesn't require any classes either. Let's do ahref, and for this, I'm going to do a hash so it doesn't go anywhere. And inside here, you put the text that you want to display in your button. So I'm going to put back. Well, actually, I'm going to put previous. And then we can simply copy and paste this. Change this to next. Save that. Go to a web browser. Refresh. There we go. We have some nice pager buttons. It's very common to use these instead of a more complex pagination system which has the individual page numbers this is very simple for blogs magazines that sort of stuff you can also align these because at the moment they're just in the center but you can make them float to the left float to the right and to do that it's really simple you need to add a class to the list item uh, actually you know what I'm gonna duplicate this so you can see the difference that's the best way to learn so put a class here chain this to pager dash prev prev to stand for previous put another class here class equals pager dash next save that refresh and there we go these are now aligned to the left and the right of its parent container so when we resize the browser they'll come in and as we the assuming you're reducing the size if you're increasing the size of the browser then they'll go out optionally you can also add a disabled state so let's just copy and paste this you might be thinking why would you want one that's disabled for example if you're on the first page you don't want the user to be able to go back a page you want it disabled and to do that what we're going to do is simply add a class of disabled and likewise if you're on the last page you don't want the user to, to be able to go any further because they can't so you want it disabled so it just helps with user experience and the flow of the website if you refresh there we go this is now grayed out whereas this one is clickable so that's it for pages if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video please rate comment and subscribe as it really does help us get our content out there plus it also helps us learn what you like about the video and what you don't like about the video and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.